Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. Belgian prosecutor Frederick van Leeu says the third Brussels suspect, Najim Larawi, is still at large. He's been linked to last year's attacks in Paris. The prosecutors also named two brothers, Brahim and Khalid al Bakrawi, as perpetrators of Tuesday's terror attacks. Daesh earlier claimed responsibility for the bombings at Brussels airport and a metro station. Officials say the terror attacks killed 31 people and wounded 261 others. Belgium's put Brussels on lockdown and raised the country's terror alert level to the highest level. U.S. President Barack Obama is in Argentina to strengthen diplomatic relations and bolster trade. During a two-day visit, Obama will meet his counterpart, Mauricio Macri, the new Argentinian president seen as a reformist whose policies significantly differ from those of his predecessor, Cristina Fernández de Kirchner. Since December, Macri's lifted capital and trade controls and struck a debt deal with U.S. creditors. But Argentina still suffers from high inflation rates and a sizable deficit. Egyptian state television reports President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has appointed 10 new ministers to his cabinet. The new finance minister is Amir al-Ghari, who spent decades in banking. And Dalia Khorshid is now investment minister. Sisi's ministerial appointments are for justice, labor, tourism, transport, antiquities, the public sector, irrigation and civil aviation. A Russian court found a Ukrainian pilot guilty over the deaths of two Russian journalists. Nadia Savchenko was sentenced to 22 years in jail on Tuesday. She's denied any wrongdoing and protested the verdict by cursing at the court and bursting into song. Her lawyer said Savchenko will not serve the sentence, I can guarantee this, as a result of the outrage which will be expressed today by heads of state and international organizations. Savchenko will be free, I have no doubt about that. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com Istanbul.